Hello, everyone. I'm super excited to be here today with Jeff Billabom. Jeff is currently the president and CEO of Hill York Air Conditioning Company, now a public company. And he went to Broward College and earned his Associates of Science in Air Conditioning Design. But who better to tell you his story than Jeff? So Jeff, why don't you tell us a little about what you're doing now so we can all get to know you a little better. Well, I've been with uh, Hill York uh, from the beginning, from starting, uh, graduating from BC, what at the time was BCC, now Broward College, but uh, for 44 years this year. Um, I'm a, really hired as a new hire, I came on board at Hill York as a new hire, really didn't know a lot about uh, the industry uh, and have worked my way up through the company to, from a project gen engineer to currently president CEO. Uh, been a partner in the business, got to experience the, the acquisition of our company to a public company in 2019. And uh, I'm excited to say that uh, I will be retiring at the end of this year and really looking forward to that. Wow. And you managed all the aspects, the marketing, the field teams, everything, everybody reported up to you. Yeah, I mean, I have, I mean, they all reported up to me for some time. I was the president. And then when the Actually, uh, this is a th third family generation business. Uh, when that person, the Lafferty, last Lafferty retired back uh, three years ago, I took over as CEO. But yeah, I've had, uh, you know, all of those positions report up. I've been mostly involved. Uh, my passion has really been the larger commercial projects. Uh, we do all only commercial air conditioning contracting. Uh, we have a full service company, but we're also into construction, retrofit. Uh, we have a controls division. We have a maintenance agreement division. Uh, so we, you know, we're really a well-rounded, full mechanical contractor. Uh, and, and, and my passion has been mostly around the business development on the large construction projects. So I like uh, being involved in those large projects, working through finding solutions, trying to find ways that uh, we can trim the budget so they can build the project, that kind of stuff. So that's been really my passion, but have been involved in marketing and every aspect of the, of the company. No, well, you sure made it a great success. So Jeff, why don't you tell us where you went to high school and how do we get so lucky to have you at Broward College? Well, it's a pretty, uh, yeah. I went to high school in Ohio, little farm town in Ohio, Piqua, Ohio, grew up there. Um, so I, I went to Piqua High School, a little small, probably 300 people in that school, high school, graduated from there. And actually, uh, it was uh, 1974. We had a snowstorm in Ohio. I came uh, down to Fort Lauderdale with a couple of friends to spring break. And uh, from there, I uh, started the, the next semester at uh, what was then BCC, a little little place out west to next to the mausoleum and uh kind of the rest is history uh, the really florida south florida weather coming from ohio really grabbed me and uh i loved it and so there was no turning back that's awesome so did you have some professors that were instrumental in your choosing the air conditioning field like how did that come about yeah i think i was really lucky um in, in being there at that time because at that time the program was really instructed mostly by uh, engineers and people in the business. Uh, there was uh, John Brown, I think at the time, uh, was heading up that department. There was a, a guy that I still remember, Charlie Keast, who was a mechanical engineer, um, had his own company locally in Dania. So they were people that were in the industry that were doing business at the time and then really teaching what they knew and what was happening relative to their business. So initially I thought, you know, I wanted to be a mechanical engineer or an HVAC engineer, but as, uh, as I applied and started with Hill York, I realized I, I wouldn't have been happy with that. I liked the contracting part of the business. So uh, I think I was lucky that uh, those people were there at the time. I see. So, so what role, so Brower College, um, after you completed it, did they help you find the job at Hill York or they, they knew about the program? Oh yeah. Uh, well, as soon as I graduated, uh, started looking, uh, applied for a job at Hill York. 
Um, and really, you know, the fact that I had learned what was relative to the business uh, really made it easy to interview and talk about what I knew and really didn't know a lot, but I did know, you know, the basics. And it was really, you know, uh, the basics really uh, related to Hill York's business. And they, uh, Pete Getzman at the time, he was our vice president of engineering. He was very familiar with Broward, Broward College. He was familiar with the people there that were instructors. So it was an easy hire for them and an easy uh, interview for me. That's awesome. So, so for you to move your way up, you must obviously have had some advice from people. What's the best advice that you were ever given to get you to this level? Um, I think, you know, really what I've lived my life by is, you know, you want to treat everyone as you would want to be treated. Um, really hard work, you know, and dedication, I think, are the most, are the, are the biggest building blocks to be successful. So, uh, you know, be humble, treat people as you'd want to be treated. Um, that's kind of that way I've lived my life, I think. Thank you. So tell us, do you have a favorite quote? A lot of times people they have a something that they live by in the back of their mind. What is your favorite quote? Yeah, I guess it kind of goes along with what I just said, you know, the advice, but um, I had one printed up that I kind of carried around with and have it on my desk, but it's uh, a great man is always willing to be little. And that's a uh, Emerson quote. You know, I've, like I said, I've always been, I've always been willing at, especially at Hill York, willing to do any job I've asked anyone else to do, whether it's uh, recently driving a truck to go get gas on a helicopter job we were doing, or no matter what it was, it's, uh, you know, I'm always willing to uh, do whatever I've asked somebody else to do. Well, so that's a good, good way to live. That is for sure. So name something that you're super excited about. We'd love to hear. Yeah, I think uh, what I said, I'm, I'm super excited right now about uh, retiring really at the end of the year. Um, you know, it's something I've been looking forward to. You know, I've uh, spent 44 years at Hill York in this industry. It's a lot of time. Uh, looking forward to uh, doing something a little different. I don't think I'm going to completely just sit in a rocking chair or anything like that. I'm going to be active. I'm going to be uh, looking for another business venture uh, to get back into. But, you know, it's kind of a, uh, I think it's, it gives me the next chapter of my life and it gives me, you know, the ability to go start do something else. Of and uh, 44 years in one business is a long time. I'm not sure that's a great thing to tell you the truth, but uh, it is what it is. So I think I'm excited about mentor, that. Great mentor and teacher. I think you, you'd have a lot of knowledge to share over not only a lot of things that went well, but you must have your share of things that maybe didn't go so well. And sometimes we learn more from those. So we'd love to yeah. see you get involved with some of our students. So um, as far as being grateful, like name something that you're yeah. super grateful for that you got to this place by. Yeah, I, you, know, you know, I've always been a family guy. It's really about the family. So I'm so grateful for my family, my kids, you know, my grandkids. Uh, really, I treat, uh, you know, the people at Hill York are really, I call them the Hill York family. Um, you know, we have a really a, a culture, a family culture here that we've developed. So it's really about all of that. And just uh, I'm grateful that I've really been blessed as an individual. And um, yeah, I think that's can't ask for anything else. That says a lot. 44 years If people, they may go over to another company and do the exact same job, but it's the company. Yeah. And so the fact 44 years says a lot. So do you have any heroes that you want to share with us? What, who are your heroes? Yeah, the, um, I thought about this a little bit, um, a lot. And, you know, it always comes back to my one hero. The only one that I can mention would be Jesus Christ. Oh. And um, really kind of dedicate a little bit of my life and live by his standards. And, um, you know, so... Great That's, role model for you. That's yeah. good to know. Other people would love to hear that. So what, what other community involvement, how has that helped you in, in all that you've been successful doing? Yeah, you know, I've been involved in a lot of organizations and community work. Um, and it's really, I think what it's really done is really uh, solidified a lot of the relationships that I have. And I found out that, you know, this business, the business we're in, at least in contracting, and I'm sure other businesses are the same. 
It's all about the relationships that you have. It's not how much you know or anything else. It's really about the relationships. And so, especially in the contracting world, you know, we don't deal with people we don't already have a relationship with. We don't go out and bid work that we don't know the owner. We don't know the contractor. We stick with the people we know and the relationships we have. And it just makes for a much better business atmosphere, I think. Yes, definitely, definitely. So other words of wisdom that you might want to share that you would impart to others? People gave you advice. You have a quote. What would you tell others that might be looking to go from, you know, a, a field position in your first position all the way to working your way up to president and CEO of a company? What advice can you give us? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what I've lived by is really we need to have or you need, I need, to, I've always had strong key values, you know, that you live by and do business by. And I've uh, kept those, those have become part of our mission statement. Um, our value statement. Uh, mine have been uh, integrity, respect, discipline, trust. You know, I've printed them and uh, keep them in kind of clear sight on my desk or uh, in, a, in my pocket or whatever, wherever it is, just to keep reminding yourself that those values really make a difference. So you got to live your life by, you got to pick your, what your values are, live your life, run your business by those. And you know, integrity, respect, discipline, trust are kind of old fashioned, maybe values uh, as, you know, as to, for today, but they've worked for me. So, so integrity, I'm, respect, discipline, trust. That's great. Those are really, yeah. really important. So I really appreciate your, your authenticity with us today and sharing, sharing your story. It's really kind of you. And I think it's very inspiring for everybody. Um, Either whatever they're studying for our college, just to be able to take that and work at a company and work their way up and, and learn. So we really appreciate your time today. So thank well, you. thanks for having me. I'd be happy to help in any way I can, really. Yeah. I'll have some time coming up. Great. So. Great. Thank you. <laughs>